Good morning, friends. Happy June 11th. I love the number 11. It's one of my favorite numbers. The numbers 11 and 23 are my two favorite numbers. I got married on November 23rd because I love those numbers so much. I think 11 is just a lucky number. I know everybody thinks that though, so it's not like it's unusual. So yesterday I told you about um, a little bit about West Virginia when I lived there. So I thought today I would tell you a little bit more about West Virginia because I was talking to Mr. Elkin about when I lived there because he was born there and grew up in West Virginia. And it was so fun when we um, met each other because we had that in common. And um, I loved West Virginia with like my heart. I just, even just thinking about it makes my heart hurt. I miss it so much. Um, it is a gorgeous, beautiful state with super kind people. And I just loved it so much when I lived there. Um, but I also had some really crazy times in uh, West Virginia, just some, some little weird things. So I thought I would tell you just about a couple of them. So um, we had a, that really bad storm last week. And um, the reason I think I got so freaked out by that storm last week was because, and by the way, I'm sorry, I just took a shower a little while ago and it's it was so sweaty that I didn't put on eye makeup. So I basically look like a rabbit when I don't wear um, mascara, sorry. But I put on lipstick and I put on a necklace so I could be sort of dressed up, kind of, sort of. I read that in like France, you just put on red lipstick and you're kind of done. So I'm just gonna pretend that I'm French today. We're just gonna go with that. So anyway, when I lived in West Virginia, um, I totally forgot what I was talking about. This happens all the time. This is how I teach, by the way. I am sorry, but for my little friends who are watching this, I know this makes you miss me so much because this is just how Miss Orca is all the time. And I'm, I'm really sorry, but it's also kind of awesome. Okay, so when I lived in West Virginia, I had some really crazy, oh, I remember. So the storm last week, the reason I think it really freaked me out was because one time when I was in West Virginia, um, I actually was uh, caught in the middle of a tornado. And it was really weird because I don't think they happen very often in West Virginia, just like they don't happen very often here because they kind of like uh, flat spaces. And as you know, or maybe you don't know, West Virginia is the mountain state and it has got the most gorgeous little mountains. And um, so it's very unusual, but my friend and I had gone to the mall and when we came out of the mall, I knew, I knew something was like really very wrong because the sky was a color of green I had never seen. First of all, I'd never seen a sky that was green before, but I'm talking green. And it was the, one of the scariest things I've ever seen. It was like a line of green coming across and I knew we were going to get a really big storm. So we were in, I think, Clarksburg and we were driving back to Buckhannon and um, something like that. And um, these tornado warnings uh, started coming on the radio, uh, just coming across the radio. And um, the rain and the hail, and it got completely crazy, and it got really, really bad. And then at one point, the the guy said, if you are in a vehicle on, I think it was Route 70, I don't even remember, but if you are in a vehicle on this route, um, and you see that, do not stay in your vehicle, get out of your vehicle and get into a ditch. <laughs> And I was like, what? So we did it. We we pulled the car over under an underpass um, and we got out of the car and we laid down on, on our stomachs in the ditch and it didn't go over the top of us, but it was like out in front of us and we could hear it. We didn't put our heads up. We put our hands over our heads and you, it sounded like a train. It sounded like a train and the hail was coming down and the wind was insane and I have never been pretty much never been so scared in my whole life. Um, that was crazy. So that happened in West Virginia. And then the other thing I was thinking about that reminded me a little bit of that, because I was telling Mr. Elkin that story, was um, when I got home, all of my wind chimes um, had been like completely like, they were all knotted up together. And um, there was a girl who lived in a house behind me. There was like a trailer park kind of off uh, of away from the house that we were renting at the time. And um, all of my wind chimes got destroyed in the um, in the, that big huge storm, and this girl came over and I was saying, "Oh, I'm I'm so sad about my wind chimes." And she goes, "Yeah, well, you know, um, everybody everybody in the neighborhood thinks that you're a witch, so it's probably good that they got destroyed." And I was like, "What?" And she goes, "Well, you know, you have all those wind chimes, and you know, you're not." you know, you're kind of different. And you know, everybody thinks you're a witch. And I was like, everybody thinks I'm a witch. And she's like, but not a bad witch, just like, a, but a witch. And I was like, Oh, my goodness. So because I had these wind chimes, and I guess I was a little bit different, but like, I'm like, I am now like exactly the same. Um, they apparently it was like this rumor. So that was a one bad thing a little bit about West Virginia was there was a lot of um, 
superstition and kind of um, craziness. I do remember um, I uh, went up into the hills uh, to uh, read to a little boy one time and um, I don't remember where it was, but I went up in the mountains and um, met the family. We were, oh, I know it was when I worked for literacy volunteers and we were trying to get print into the homes and uh, I went up to this cabin that they lived in, this family, and um, it was a dirt floor. And as I was standing there talking to the family, um, one of the little boys who was living there just walked over into the corner and just squatted down and pooped in the house. He pooped inside the house and no one batted an eye. And I was like, uh, um, like, do I say something? So that was, that was, uh, that was an education to like learn that not everybody has all of the things that you have, like including like indoor plumbing. I mean, it was really eye opening, but I loved West Virginia very, very fiercely. So that was also kind of an interesting and crazy story about West Virginia, but I really did love it there. It was really, really beautiful. I miss it all the time. I do remember that when I came back to New York after living in West Virginia, um, I went to like Tops and um, I was going through the line and I just got my groceries and I was leaving and I just burst into tears because it was the first time in like a couple of years, because I lived down there for a couple of years, that that someone hadn't said like, have a nice day, honey, or now y'all come back, now you're here. Like they were so sweet and kind. One time I got lost in West Virginia, like in the middle of nowhere. And um, this family completely invited me into their home and like gave me cold lemonade, made me lunch, drew me a map and sent me on my way. I mean, it it is a state that is just really beautifully pure hearted in a lot of ways. And if you're going to write something bad about West Virginia, please don't do it on my page because I happen to think they're beautiful people. And I know that we all have bad people where we live and we all have like people who are backward and don't have like good modern ideas. But I found West Virginia to be a place of complete beauty and kindness. And that's how I was treated when I was there. So anyway, I thought those were a couple of fun stories. So my tornado story and my my being a witch story. And um, yeah, I, I learned not to poop in a corner, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I learned a lot in college. That was one of them. All right. Well, have a great Thursday. Oh my God, I can't believe it's Thursday already. And I will see you back here tomorrow.